Exactly. Moo. <laughs> What's up, guys? Yes, that is a cow, not a cat. And yes, this is a video for taming cats and also building the little sanctuary or a little cat pen for them to hunt in, for hunting fish. And uh, yeah, I thought I'd do a little video on it because I was about to set one up and um, yeah, I thought it'd be interesting. So the first thing you need to tame cats is milk. So obviously you need a cow. And um, this is a cow, as you can tell. Um, yeah, so you need a bucket, you need a cow. Get your bucket. Always leave mine on the cow so I don't forget one. Get your bucket out. Press E to milk it. And there you go, you get some milk. I've just milked it recently, so I only got 10 milk off that one. Um, normally, if you leave it a little while, we get 80 out of a bucket, which is pretty good. Um, we've just got the one, but if you had a few of these, you'd get milk really quick. Milk's actually pretty damn good as well. It does give you a little bit of health back. It's a little bit filling. It fills your water bar up, and it gives you a lot of your blue vitamin. So it's a, it's a pretty cool thing to have around. And obviously, like I said, you need it to tame cats. Just a quick update for you know people that have been subscribers for a little while or have been watching the videos for a little while and have been watching since at least the start of this season. This is the um, starting base we had. Hello, I'm naked because I've just jumped from another ship to here. <laughs> but um, yeah, this was the original base there, the starting base. And when I've done that video, I'll put a link down below if you want to go back and check it out. Um, yeah, when I've done that video, I said that this was designed the way it was because we want to convert it later which we've now done although I might um, make this a bit wider or something but yeah this is the barn now so we've got all the farm animals in it as in the actual like farmyard type animals sheep pigs cows uh, gonna get a couple more pigs a few more sheep and maybe one or two more cattle and um, yeah and we've still got the garden and stuff out here and the uh, cooking grill for cooking stuff at obviously so yeah I finally got round to converting it. Got a few things left in here, which I'll probably just leave in here because they're kind of handy. Obviously, all the food bags are handy to put all the vegetables in. There's the new marketplace, so that's been loaded up with stuff, and obviously everything else went into the, the uh, workshop. So yeah, there's a little catch up. Back to the mountain hand. Like I said, you need a cow, you need milk, and then you can go get the cat. So I will jump over to the freeport because I've got a ship there, and uh, we will go and get a cat. Or three, or four, or however many we decide. Right, here we go. So as you can see, I'm at the free port, and um, I don't have to mention this a moment ago. I don't think I did. Um, you can only get the cats in a free port, um, but we've actually found um, the free port in a lawless area. Um, and you can get cats there as well, but it has to be in the free port type thing it has to be in this um you know port town village whatever you want to call it and um, yeah you'll find cats dotted around here now on live stream recently i was trying to play the accordion and uh i could not get the medium ones done on the uh gold the gold buff song um, it is so long i managed to get quite far for it but i kept failing there's a cat there but I figured, since on my ship I got an accordion, I've got the Taming Affinity song with me. I might as well give it a go, so why not? Let's have a crack at it. Let's go. Oh. Done! There you go, party on my dudes. Oh, I should have tried the red one. I wish I didn't mess some other ones up then, that was nearly perfect. <laughs> See, I can do it, guys, I can do it. Um, I've no idea if this is going to work with the cats, but I thought, you know, I got one with me, why not? Might as well, it's fun. Oh, and the other thing was, I respect before I started recording to do something else and uh, saved all my points. So, as you can see, I've got absolutely nothing right now. Um, I have got the uh, stuff I need for my tames. I don't need you don't need taming tier three by the way to get the um the cats. I think you can just get it with taming one. 
I could be wrong. I'm pretty sure it's. Um, I'm pretty sure you just need the first taming to get them. Um, and I'm going to get all the taming proficiencies because I can, and yeah, it just makes things a bit nicer. And also, the reason why I opened this in the first place, to be honest, was sneak. Now, the only way you can um, feed the cat is to go up to it to obviously give it milk but it will run away and on a free port you can't build anything you can't like cage it in or anything so you have to follow it around and i think sneak does make a big difference while taming a cat hello mr skeleton never noticed them before is there more of them is there just the one uh but let's find a cat Monkey. Oh, here's some. Right, okay. They're all hiding in a bush. Um, let me see if I can harvest this. There's two cats, a chicken, and a monkey. Right, so if I belly crawl up to her. Should be able to feed her. There you go. I'll wait 30 seconds, hopefully she doesn't walk at me. Just keep edging towards them. Um, can I sit here for a couple of seconds? There you go. Oh. There you go. I can't believe well, I don't want to jinx it, but I can't believe it's going this smoothly. Normally they run around all over the place. It might be they might be bugged out down in this little gully to be honest. I ain't complaining eh? See if we can get that other one, even though it's only level one. Oh, why is it walking straight at me? Maybe you can just lay down and it stops it. Doesn't seem bothered at all, does it? Come on, don't bug out now. Hey, there we go. So let's try this one. Does not want to be tamed right now. Why right, this one? Oh, look at that one. Oh my god. Oh, please don't be bugged. Does not want to be tamed right now. Can I get it out? Uh, the only thing I've got with me is brass knuckles. Uh, but maybe this ostrich is in the way. This is going to end bad. Come on, ostrich. Oh, I clonked that thing. Look at its health. Yeah, oh, my is nearly knocked out an ostrich. Look at that. Sit down. Is the uh, cat bug still? Can I farm this? Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Farming an ostrich with knuckles. Ooh. There we go. That's ah, still falling, isn't it? Can't, um. Can't hit it out. Maybe I can hit it the other way. No. No, that's really annoying. I really want that cat. Let's uh, go see if we can find another one and then come back see if it's still there. Oh, I can hear a cat. Okay, cat, where are you? Oh, it's the one up. <laughs> it's this cat purring. I thought it was, I was next to one. What an idiot. Sometimes you can find them outside. They're not always necessarily in the town. Yeah, there's one. Level six. Oh, 
Oh, god damn it. Come here, cat. I can't get this one to stop. There it is. I just belly crawled all the way over to it. Come on, goody cat. Almost there. Come on. Take the milk. Yes. Oh. Oh. If you lay down, they seem to be. Um, they seem to just sit there. That's good. I didn't know that. I wasn't sure. I don't know if it's because of sneak. I don't know. But yeah. This seems to work. So maybe just lay down. Maybe you don't even need sneak. You can just lay down. Uh, we've actually already got uh, three cats back at the base. Um, Rad Dude got them the other week. So I would like a few more. But I'll probably just grab these two, jump back. I'll see if that other one's unbugged yet, because I would like that one. And uh, I'll crack on with setting up the enclosure they need to be able to hunt fish in. And uh, I'll make it big enough so I can keep adding cats to it. The more cats, the better, I think. Uh, one thing that, you know, people don't like on this game is the um, you know keeping track and keeping up with your vitamin demands one of which being um, the need for fish or milk and uh, yeah the cats are a really really good way to get rid of the annoyance of trying to get hold of fish yay there we go Uh, she looks really cool as well. Look at her. Right. Let's get her on follow. I oh, she's already following. <laughs> and um, make our way back to ship. And I will see if other ones unbugged or not. Because I do really want that. It's really, really cool colours. Alright, okay. Well, yeah, that's still bugged. Yeah, that's a shame. I would like that one. Let me turn the camera up a little bit. Um, but I'll keep coming back, see if I can get that colour again, because that is a really cool colour. I do like it. I will get these back on the ship and get back to the base, and we'll build a hunting pen for the cats. Right, okay, so back at the uh, main base now. Uh, just grab them for now. Won't need that many, but pick them all up nonetheless. Right, so I'm thinking I'm just going to stick it between you know the barn and the bridge to the crafting area. Turn that up for a minute. Hope you remember to turn it back down. Don't want it being really bright. Um, yeah, I just think this would be kind of cool to slip it in here. I was thinking about putting it under there, uh, but where the cats are there, it does get a little bit deeper the other side. And... Um, yeah, I kind of like the deck look to that part of the um, base. Basically, for the cats, they need to be in the water. Um, now, I don't know if they just need to be touching water or what the deal is, but they have to be able to stand up in it and it has to be in water. So I'm hoping if I just put foundations here so it's just submerged somewhere there, um, it will be alright. I'm just going to place this one and see how square it is. Yeah, we'll do that. This should be good. All right. So we'll just go off here. Um, just go four by four. Go four by five to give it a rectangular look. Should have probably just got a cat on one of the foundations first to test it. Just grab Rex and his fish. Hunt in. So here you go, you can see what they can hunt. So it's bugs, fish, and rodents. And bugs and rodents, nothing else can collect, I don't believe. So it's just the cats that can do this. So we'll turn to hunt fish, and we'll see if that works. He is in his hunting stance. And if it works on this one, it's going to work on all of them there. So 
There you go. Yeah, it's working. That's fine then. Right, that is perfect. I'll get the rest of it together and we'll see what comes out of it. And there we go guys, all finished, the cat shack is complete. Why did it start raining when I come out here? Let's turn the camera up a little bit, hopefully it's not too washed out. Um, yeah, the cat shack, all done. I did have to change the roof. I went with the thatch to start with, I didn't like it, so I've changed it to the stone um, seat, uh, roof tiles to match the rest of the base. As you can see, all the other buildings have that on. And uh, yeah, it's all done. I'm pretty happy with it. I think it's come out really well. It might look a little bit overkill, but I think it really fits the rest of the base. That's cool. And as you can see, it's perfect uh, height of water in here. Perfect depth. Yeah, perfect depth of water in here. Um, so yeah, like I said earlier, you're looking for them to be able to stand up in it, but they've got to be in the water. If it's too deep, they can't stand to hunt, so they won't be able to fish. And obviously, if they're not in the water, they can't catch fish. Now, you can get them to uh, choose other critters to collect. You just go up to them, you hold E to open the radial menu, click hunting. brings up this menu and you can see they can hunt for bugs, hunt for fish, hunt for rodents. You can't get them to hunt for bugs or rodents while they're stood in the water like this. So you would need a separate building if you wanted to get them to catch other things. Um, but we just want them for fish, so that's why we've done this. And all our cats will be going in here from now on. You can see there they've all got a stack of fish for me. I'll just collect these. Oh no, I picked them up. Oh, the other thing I forgot to mention earlier was um, if you've got them on your shoulder like this, you can just get them off by double tapping F. And you just sort of look. So I want them to go sort of here somewhere. So I'll just step back. I've got, I've got to mind this shelf above my head, otherwise he gets stuck. If I go like this, he should just drop down in front of me somewhere like that. And that's how I placed all these around the edge. Let me just uh, stick this fish in there. You can see I've already been collecting some. I'll just take this out and pop that in here for them. The cats also only eat fish, guys. They will consume milk, but it won't fill them up. So you need to give them fish. So I've just put that in there. Um, these are all, I think they're all almost on full food now. That one's nearly done. And that one's almost done. She's got a level as well. And I would just stack food on them so they got plenty of food. They, they can survive longer without food kind of thing. And um, yeah, I'll just throw a bit of fish in there. And over time, obviously, we're going to end up with loads of it. And we'll be able to take a load of fish out of us. You can see that's what I've collected already since I've put them in here. And there you go. They're all collecting another load of fish already. So they are really quite efficient once you've got a few cats together. Yeah, they get 10 fish each. Which is pretty nice. There we go. So yeah, there we go, guys. There's the cat shack all complete. That's how you get cats. And that's what you need for them to be able to hunt fish. I hope the video is helpful and a bit interesting to watch. Something a bit different. I've never done a cat video before, so that's kind of cool. And um, yeah, if you did like it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, obviously. And hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I do weekly videos, Mondays and Fridays for gameplay few different things in between them days if I've got it, a few like update videos, news, patch notes, um, you know, things like that. 
live streams once or twice a week depending what's going on and make sure you hit the subscribe button for them because i can't do a fixed schedule with the live streams because of how my work shift patterns work if you want to support the channel guys you can use patreon the link in the description below and uh, patreon members can join the atlas company now bronzebeard incorporated and any future tribes companies guilds organizations all that kind of stuff in the future as well as of course bonus content behind the scenes type things and sneak peeks and plus a little video series coming soon exclusive to patreon so yeah check out if you're interested obviously we've got the merch you can get the moshman t-shirts bronzebeard incorporated t-shirts all that good stuff Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Like I said, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was helpful. And I'll see you next time.